I wanted to make this video because a few days ago, Stephen Amell, the Green Arrow himself, announced that he was going behind a paywall on Instagram doing Instagram Lives. You have to pay him $5, $5 to go on these Instagram Lives. Now, I talked to several people that watched his first initial stream to announce he was doing this, and he was quoted as saying, this is for the real fans. This is for the real fans of him to talk with him behind this paywall pay him five dollars you get to talk to Stephen Amell he's been doing Instagram lives and other lives on like Facebook and other stuff for years and all of a sudden after the controversy that happened a little while ago the whole controversy with him having a different opinion on the strikes which is completely fine right I don't have a problem with him having a different opinion on the strikes it's the fact that after all of that occurred he's now returning to social media after a bit of a break and now you pay him $5 to talk with him in live streams, which were free for any fans before. Now, all of a sudden, you got to pay him $5. The guy who led Arrow for eight years, the guy who's leading a show that's still currently active right now, even though they're not shooting, there's no development of a season three potentially at this point. But still, you were a lead on a show for a long ass time. And you're a lead right now, currently on a show that we don't know what's happening with the third season. And you had all that controversy where you were thinking more about yourself and not about the fact that I've worked with a bunch of people, Stephen, you, you've worked with a bunch of people over the years on Arrow and Heels that were definitely not paid as well as you, that are not better off in terms of finances and everything like you are. But yet after all this controversy, you come back and ask fans to pay $5. It's a little ridiculous. It's a little ridiculous, Stephen, because you were the guy that seemed to be really passionate and really cared about your fans. And you, you may still think that, but when you take a break from social media because you were basically destroyed on social media and you come back and ask for $5 from the real fans, like, first of all, your fans are people that you probably don't see as fans because they were critiquing you, myself included, because I was critiquing you heavily. Uh, during this whole entire situation that was unfolding because of what you said because of just how it came across and how like you, you don't have to support the striking necessarily but the way you were coming across and not thinking about the bigger picture and the actual rest of the damn acting killed it just really came across really bad and you come back asking for five dollars and you're you and you don't want the critiquing. You don't want the people coming into your live streams. That's why you're asking for five bucks so that you're going to limit that potential attack when it's people actually asking you legitimate questions more likely like, so do you actually support the striking? Like, what are your thoughts? Or because Steven really didn't like he, he had response. He had an apology, but come on. And, and that's fine. You know, if you want to have a different opinion, that's fine. It's just the way it comes across, it just, ugh, you know, well, I don't know, Stephen. I don't know, man. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know, but it's not a good look. I'll tell you that. It's not a good look.